All right, I think I'm back. Want to see? That's OBS and that's YouTube. I'm seeing YouTube come back live. See all the mics look good. Need some gaming audio, so let's go over and see that the game's still running. So uh, I had changed the audio hardware settings, and it looks like that caused problems. Look at the game audio is gone too. So let's restart the game. So let's go to Farm Simulator, do, do, do. save and quit. And I'm watching off the air, got a connection and see if why I go live. So I have a, says I'm live, but I don't see my off air return yet. I am quitting the game to restart it with my new hardware settings, unless it works now. There, now we hear it. Now we'll go back to career in Yogi Land. At least I hear it. If I hear it, you should hear it, right? I can make that assumption. Start Yogi Land. Let's drink coffee because I'm working hard and getting tired. Ugh, where? Come on, live. Where's my live thing over here? Let me see my return. All right, controller. Where was I? We were going to mow a field of grass and turn it into silage. Take the silage and sell it at the biogas plant for money. I think I got a million last night for it. Um, and then Digestate goes to the garden center. That's the tow truck save the day. Uh, still don't see anything live, so I don't know if my audio is working. Uh, but we'll continue. Multifruit, not doing that. Let's check the map. Let's see, what is there to harvest? It's a barren map. Fruit types, growth. Nothing is ready for harvest. So I'm going to turn up, instead of being speed one, let's go ahead and increase the clock. What time is it? It's like 4.20 here. I'll go another hour, maybe till 5, 5.30 here. Wednesday afternoon. Um, that's the crawler to plow fields, but we don't need to plow anybody right now. That's for hauling cake. All right, here's our mower. You should be mowing. He's mowing. All right, we'll look at some of these graphics here. I'm looking at 1080 on my screen, but I, oh, I just set the encoder, the video encoder to 480 to try a little bit of that. And the audio is 44.1 kilohertz to see what I sound like. It sounded like uh, my voice is pitch shifting really low. I'm like, I don't sound like that, do I really? But I may really, I do. Or today my voice is particularly low. <clears throat> but we will uh, see. That's what I keep listening to the audio saying. I don't sound like that. Like, maybe you do. All right, so he's mowing. What else do you want to do? Let's go sell some cake. Make some money. Because that's a grain harvester. Right? So if something comes up, we can um, do some... Oh, that's the thing. I... I could show you these harvesters. You haven't seen how crazy they are and how much they harvest. So that's why we can speed up the clock now because we want a field to come in. And like, what's the dark green potatoes? We're gonna come in like, see number two, field two. I should slow down. I'm looking at it, but you guys don't know that I'm looking right here. That's potatoes. What's that? That's rye. And that's probably corn over there. Um, So potatoes would be one and you can tell they're about ready to harvest by the color green they are here. So that one's about ready to go. And that one, those are my choices. Is that really corn? Sunflowers. Yep, it's really two fields of sunflowers, huh? And they're staggered. So it'll be like that one, then that one. So sunflower. That'll be good because I can show you one header for the sunflower seeds. Then we can do the potatoes would be another one. And now I just need grain, which what is on field 18 is potatoes boy potatoes are coming in everywhere so we'll just have to see what else comes in but that's two harvesters i could show you when the clock ticks the uh cycle of plant growth is like tick 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 the plants keep growing and you can control how fast the plants grow by that number five up by the clock i should use my mouse and point up no i can't there's no mouse here but the clock up there that little five under the time that says 10 13 Oh, you probably can't see it because the resolution. But if you can, I'll hold still for a minute there. That's how fast the plant growth is going. 
We're not hauling. You saw the digest state. He's sitting around waiting for the field to be mowed. He can come down here. Get some audio going here. Some lights. Flashy lights. Yeah, this thing's crazy. Nine million liters of all of the grasses and silages and stuff. And I, there may be other things, but it's, it won't, you can't do cakes with it. But boy, you want to do grass. Yeah, I got five million. That's where I got five million straw off that large field with this thing. Harvested all night long. It was amazing. With the best mods I've ever played. Cows look like they're doing good. We could sell some milk, but that's not very exciting. I haven't found a dairy on site. There's really nothing to fertilize. Gold. We were doing gold, right? So we've dumped one bucket load. 175,000, and we got 7,500 ore, like 10%. So if I start this thing, get my bucket up, and go stick this back under the fountain of ore, so the endless fountain. So I guess you can have as much gold as you're willing to like sit here and gather. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I'm glad I did gold mining, and it'd be kind of fun if you were starting the game and needed money. But like now that I've done it, I'm kind of like got to get my uh, bucket down. Get your bucket down and in. You know, I'm like, okay, I've done it. That's gold mining. That's our tow truck. I'll pull him up in here into a more tow truck position. I gotta hang around the header. If this header needed to go any Oh they did. I wanted to do this earlier. This header's just sitting out here. Doesn't look like it belongs. Where would I'm gonna put it back? It's it's rarely used. It's used on the smaller fields when I don't wanna have to manually cater and tend to the uh, harvester. So I'm gonna bring it in here and tuck it inside this storage thing where it's just out of the way. Is that good? Is that blocked the way? I'm just the worst driver in the world sometimes. I was thinking of something else. Like, is this blocking it? I don't like it here. I'm thinking over here. I'm like this. It's out of the way. It doesn't block anybody. All right. What else? This guy being... Oh, he's a 700. The 900's mowing. So while he's mowing his job, this is a 500 liter do a lot of cool stuff if I need to move things it'll do and the thousands back check the thousand uh, fent and make sure he doesn't need maintenance there he is yeah he does these two uh, the fent thou 1000 and it's uh, hallmaster were the uh, needed the most attention so if you want to know if your equipment needs attention, I, you can sort all of your equipment top down and up here, and I can find the Fent 1000. And it's Master Hauler, like I say, are the only two things that are below 90%. I remember that from last night. So we'll bring him over here. And if you don't know how, how a repair shop works, it looks like the repair shop is associated with the concrete there, so we'll see. If I put this tractor on the concrete, Right, the I'm gonna straighten it out a little bit. Make sure that the trailer isn't on the concrete at all. Very close though. I'll even come here and you can stare at it and see. Here's the concrete. You know, here's the trailer. It's close, but it repairs what's on the concrete. I think that's my latest theory. I've been so upset at this thing. Like if you just pull forward like that much, right? Can I go hop over this? We jump. Um, now. That's over the concrete a little bit. It seems to do attachments rather than the tractor. We'll see if I do that. See, it ignores the tractor, and now it does the attachment. So I repaired that. Huh. Still trying to figure out these repair shops. Just crazy. Just enough to drive you mad. And, oh, yeah, like for the new bros, if you didn't know, you can wash your gear. Over here, we put a pressure washer under the lights. 
that header, this guy right here, is the corn header that extends out 30 meters. So that's a hundred foot. That's a hundred foot corn header, right there. It's crazy. Look at what does it say? I can't even read it. Anyway, wash your tractor. That thousand, that Fent 1000. That's a 550 horsepower, high horsepower tractor. And I just point those out because the high horsepower tractors are different than the low horsepower. As far as what they do, like the one with the front loader that was the tow truck that saved me, that was a low power. That was a 240. This is a 500. I wouldn't try to pull this trailer, which is a 70,000 liter biggest hauler in the game with that 240 horsepower. You'll notice the difference. And I hauled it with the 500, but the 1,000 was a nice hauler. Anyway. Are we live? We're not live. Do I have to, like, update my channel here when I'm live? Like, I'm going to go over here to Silk and say, come on. This whole Oh, see, now I'm live. Really? All right. And let's watch that live stream. <sighs> Where would you put? So I, uh, I repair things. I wash them, and then I call this as like my line over here. Then I just kind of stack them on the line. And this is a line of clean, washed, repaired shit. Out in front of me there are the haulers. You know, just trucks to haul stuff. Hey, the mower. He's not doing bad, huh? Top-down view of the field he's mowing with some kind of status. There he is. See, he hasn't even, not even close to halfway. God, I forget how many thousand millions of liters of grass we'll get. This is, a, you know, I, I mentioned I'd like to keep a field of grass around just for the hell of it. This is the biggest field of grass I've ever kept around for the hell of it. But it's how I play. That's when you play the game, you kind of decide what do you want to do in these sandbox games? How do you enjoy playing the game? And I enjoy playing the game with nice equipment. You know, I love these Fent tractors. There are other ones. I like the New Hollands. I like the Case ones. Much love and respect there. Um, but I've used those. I didn't know Fent was a cool European tractor. And that they made, made the uh, Challenger crawlers. That's what, do we have a crawler? Yeah, we have crawlers out here. I, I like to think that, look at all the equipment I have out here, and I've populated the map with all of this cool equipment. Um, and I think I've done a good job populating this map with this equipment. There's a tanker. So I'll show you the plan. We can uh, check out the railroads and see how much fluid can a tanker car on the train hold. I don't know. The... Wheat cars hold 120,000 liters. So let's do a fluid. Let's get some digestate here to, let's get 100,000 liters of digestate right here. And we're gonna go over to the elevator. That, ooh, that's green, that's digestate, look at that. I like to getting all the colors working and everything. To where I'm seeing like this tanker, you'll see fluids come out the bottom, which that's a nice mod, huh? All right, have I got it, I'm almost full. All right, now we'll take this tanker of digestate over to, so this is all mine. If you wanna help me develop it. I thought about out there, but why out there, all the lights out here? Well, out there, because it's close to the fields. But here's all the storage and here's all the lighting. So I'm keeping myself over here by my house at night. Um, yeah, where all the lights are. Okay, so here's the elevator. I like this elevator. I'm kind of calling this my elevator. Like if I've had elevators in other games, on other maps, this is my elevator on this map. I am unloading digestate, right, into this elevator. Oh, here's where I told you the fluids will come out the back. I got to get the back of the trailer over it. I kind of put it in the middle of it. Back up, I'm, all, I'm zoomed out like all the way, and unload there. <laughs> Isn't that, oh, I fuck up every time. Isn't that cool, guys? Good job. So that's the Yogi dude. The guy that made the Yogi map, made this trailer to haul product on his map, and they all unload like this. I noticed, like, first time with the water. So I just put 100,000 liters of green slime into this elevator. All right. Uh, it should show up. And here is digestate in an elevator. Digestate is this stuff right here. This is digestate. Here is, I got 600,000 in a silo somewhere. Really? But, 
huh? What? Let's go see if the, di is the digestive plant isn't on the railroad anywhere, is it? I gotta check that out and see if I can load directly, because it's in a silo that I own. And do, so they consider that? Anyway. We want to do trains now. And if you noticed, as I've cycled... Oh, let's, there's the one. How's the mower doing? As we cycle through these, you don't see any of the trains. Right? The gold mine. We got another thing of gold. But I'm going to ignore that for you. You know how that works. Not hauling. Not doing any of this stuff. Alright. We're mowing. Little daylight mowing footage. If you haven't seen it. This is why I like the game. And the detail. Like, that's what I'm... Get the close-ups, right? Like, holy shit, guys. Look at that three-point hitch. If I'm not mistaken, is that PTO turning or is it just vibrating? I've seen him turn. Anyway, good stuff, huh? The class mowers. All right, so what was I doing? I was doing um, trains. Gonna go into the menu and activate my trains so they show up. So just boom, 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 boom. You can see I'm over here, this thing, switch to trains on, back out, and now, at some point, you'll encounter all four trains, and you have to study them, you have to study the routes, like, God, the garden center, yeah, the garden center's over there, on the train, and it has a dump, so it's the other loop, it's not this loop, this is a train that will work. And it's going by our place. So let's stop this train. Slow down. So I'm now driving this train. That's how easy it is. I just jumped into it just like it's a vehicle. Zoom in. I'm trying to zoom in. And I'm slowing down. I'm hitting the brakes. Slow down. Because that's our loading station right there. We just passed. Slow down. 40, 50. We can back up, though. It's good. We're close enough. See how I control the train now? Just like it's a vehicle. Oop. Not that train. Not that train. That train. Zoom in. See, I don't uh, use the trains when I'm not hauling with them. So I, you can don't have to look at them. I'm hitting back. Oh, start engine. Yeah, I need that engine. Back up, back up. Look at this. I like trains too, right? Train simulators are cool. Okay, so the question is, these uh, five cars on the front are grain cars. That one in the back is a fluid car. So I'm going to stop the train here before it's under. So I'll show you, we gotta zoom all the way out then. And yeah, I can zoom to the back of the train. I believe I worked this out. These are all grain cars. Here's the fluid tanker car. And if you know, just behind me now is the uh, filler. I can open it. And the question is, how much does it hold? Well, God, I can't even see. I'm trying to back it under there. All right, I can do this. Back it under and fill it with the digestate that we're gonna dump on the other side of the track and you can take a train ride with me. Here we are. Fill with, di oh, 200,000 digestate. Ha, ha, what, ha, what, where, when, what, the, there was digestate just sitting in this? I had no idea. Why did it stop filling? There, fill. I am filling with digestate. It looks like it holds a lot. There's 40, there's 50. That's about a hundred. That's gonna hold like two hundred thousand. Is that worth it for me? It does like twice what the the D two fifty. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd go ahead and do it with the train because I lose control of the track or the truck. And you'd like to take a train ride, right? And I like to drive the train backwards because that's the thing about trains. I learned with train simulators, you can go forward and you can go backwards. So look, I got 200,000 digestate. We're good to go. I don't think we need a track warrant or a track clearance or anything. Let's go. Go, go, go. It's on the other side of the track. I could show you the map. It's over there. That's the garden center. That's where we're going. So this, I can zoom in this way and we'll watch the train ahead of us. This is why I like driving from the back. And I'm saying, oh, you can't hit cruise control going backwards. So I was going to say, go full speed. The train is now doing 75. And you probably want to see it from above. You want to see Yogi Land? Right, so I'm zooming back here. I'm looking over for live. There's, I don't see much testing. I should listen to the audio over here while the train's going. Well, going backwards, so I was gonna say go full speed. The train is now doing 75, and you probably want to see it from above. Do you want to see Yogi Land? Right, and 
See, that sounds great. That sounds much better. Now, why don't I hear my train anymore? Because we're not that close to it. Um, yeah, so I don't sound like I'm pitch shifted anymore. Um, what am I doing? I'm slowing down. I wanted to hear train audio, so I'm zooming. I'm coming in close now. And I want to hear how does the... Uh, I'm going to go listen to this again. The train audio mixed with my voice audio. And see how I control the, how loud the vehicles are by how close I am to them. Okay, I'm looking over and off air, and I'm seeing I'm getting closer, so I'm going to go ahead and get close and listen to this, but I'm going to talk for about 10 more seconds while we go down. Here's the beach. That's what I can do. I'll listen to the test when I turn around and leave the beach, but look at the... I like the little downtown area. There's like six factories there. There's a port. There's a yacht, like, you know, showing people the thing. I, the beach is nice. The sunsets are gorgeous out here. There's a pier. You can drive out on it. There's the cake shop. I get to make cakes and work down here. I tell you, a nice place to spend time by the surf shop. And there's another elevator. So they're all over the map. There's a church and a mission back there and a castle on the hill. Look at that back there. I can buy that property, and I'm like, I thought about living in that castle, but it's off the side of the map. So here's the garden center in front of us. I'm going to listen to the audio test now. All right, sounds pretty good. Sounds like I'm pretty loud, like the game audio might be low now. So I can always, we can do that. We can turn up the game audio. Um, we can do that in OBS, like right now. I can just go over here to OBS Studio, and that's on like 30. The game audio is a little louder now, I hope. Theoretically, we'll do more tests. All right, who, what? I'm on the wrong train. I was going to say, we went way past the garden center. Is there? So oh, this is our train, shit. We went way past the garden center. <laughs> Start your engine. Cruise control to stop this thing. Yeah, so I'm just talking about the map like this. These, these fields are cool over here. I've, I've been up against those mountains. Uh, that was a nice time. Big grass field back here. The sunsets and sunrises are great back in here. These mountains almost reflect. These are nice fields here in the middle. I, it's a nice to get your start. Those are some weird sounds coming from the engine. Okay, here's the garden center. You don't want a train going 75 miles an hour into the sand. They're hard to stop. I'm trying to stop. But the fluids are the uh, end of the train. So the first thing you hear here is the coleslaw plant. This is a load and dump station for the coleslaw plant. So you can, I can, I, I'm saving that. But this is the garden center and it's a dump only. You cannot load from here in this. So we want our liquid thing right over that. I can do it, right? Did I leave it open the whole time? What a bad train operator I am. Okay, slow down. 10 miles an hour is a lot for a train. That looks about right. And when that digest thing popped up, I'm going to stop zero there. Go over here, and I think I can zoom back down the train all the way to the last car. Because you want to see this, right? If you've never seen it before. I left it open the whole time. Bad, bad, bad. See, you can close it. I should have done that. Much better. Much better. Okay. That's our fluid. We're going to unload 200,000 digestate. Was that easier than the truck? I don't know. It was different. Unload. Boom. Oh, dude. All four? That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. Give me some light. I can't see. Dude, again, that is so cool. Good job. Can I get closer? Sorry about the camera work. This is it's harder than it looks. It's jumping around and things. But there you go. You get the idea. All right, so that's trains. So yeah, trains is a thing. How are we doing on time? Where's the live? 23 minutes ago. Okay. What else is going on? Look at the map. I think we fast forward to time a little bit. Let's check. We're at five. Dude, money. Oh, we're selling digestate still. I was going to say money's going up. That was a 78,000 every load. Really? Digestate? Yeah, because it's only like 400 or something. Do to digest. Yeah, 400. It's times the 200,000? Yeah, it would have been 
40 and 40 again. So like 80. Okay, cool. That's one way to do it. There are other trains. Here's the beach again. Say not a bad place to spend time in the game. And I guess check how our mowing is going. Can we check the map to see if anybody has come into the harvest window? Yes. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's slow her down. Like, now. Everything is available now. All right, what time is it? I don't have a whole lot of time for you, so we got to do this fast. I got to get two harvesters going. First one, the Papa Smurf Multi Fruit Potato Harvesting Mod. Big field there. See, it's $9 million for me to buy it. I'm buying that field. I now own field two. Field two is multi fruit. Did you see what the crop was up there? What am I harvesting? Uh, potatoes. All right, so it's this. I haven't used the potato thing much. Here he is. That's the uh, Papa Smurf million liter capacity multi fruit harvester so he does potatoes put down my head please put down my head please lower i want to lower shouldn't i be able to? yeah lower lower i should be able to lower it that's the cotton head disconnect the cotton harvesting this is a really versatile powerful fun machine oh i love it it's fast just can't say enough good machines i'll probably never play the game again without this the, uh, it's just a must-have mod nothing like it in the stock game this just changes the game so i what i can say positively is i wouldn't even uh, do the root crops without this so the train is blocking when you take control of the trains they kind of stop everywhere on the map where they're at so this train is blocking my exit all right there's a cruise control i just hit and it's telling it to go down the road on its own. We light lights. Lights. One, two, three, four. And flashy lights always makes things better. Oh, you haven't seen this vehicle before, so I'll try to get some close-ups. It's mainly root crops. I prefer sugar beets of what I've done. Um, potatoes and loose cotton, right? I've done the cotton bales, cotton balers, but I'm thinking I'm I'm digging loose cotton. Ah. Third time, didn't mean that. Step in. Just trying to sit upright. I'm not slouch. Well, I think it's going well. So let's see. Today I was testing audio, which I think sounds like we got that fixed. And video. We're using a four. So I'm I'm in 1080. OBS is getting 1080 in, and I'm having the output of OBS at 480 right now, using the software encoder to really try to stomp on it. How's the yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? I think there's less compression artifacts on that, maybe. Because if most people who would be watching me would be, uh, God damn, I missed the field totally. Yeah, if you didn't see what I did. Like, here's our field, the red one. And I just drove down this entire road, spacing out. Which is cool. Right. Um, I want to show you his harvester, but... It'll have to wait. Was I talking about anything important? I've seemed to forgot. Oh, yeah, using the software encoder to stomp on the video. And it may be looking better. Audio is easy, right? Audio is not going to take up much of my bandwidth. And I told you I can only do 500K right now. I'll turn it up later um, when I need it. I'd say most people watching this is we're just testing. We're just getting started on the air. Said streaming's a little harder than I thought it would be with all these settings, so there's some testing that needs to be done. And I think I'll save these tests, keep them around for a while. But I can move them off. Um, am I recording? Did I start recording? I did, I did. So I'm recording them locally as I upload them. So I mean, I could delete the tests from the YouTube server and still keep them in case I wanted this material later. So, uh, he was unfolded. If you didn't know, this header... You haven't seen it unfolded. This is the first time for you, huh? Yeah, headers unfold. And I'm lining it up. I'm driving right now. I'm like, there you go. I want, there's a little bar rib right there. I want like, like that. And I'm saying, hiring a worker and go. Did I mention this harvest is at 34 miles an hour? I think. So when I say these mods are game changers, this is what I mean. This is the stock, nothing like this in the stock game. 
Look at the rate he's harvesting potatoes. First of all, potatoes, you get a fuck ton of potatoes from a field. So that was the thing about root crops is they only sell for like $400 a thousand. Yeah, so they're not worth anything. So you need the volume. Oops. That was my water bottle. It's bouncing around. You watch that. Um, so the root crops, they were no fun making all those loads, just harvesting tons and tons of potatoes just to make it profitable. But it turns out sweet potatoes are maybe one of the most profitable crops in the game. If you can do the best thing, you got to be a hauler. You got to be able to haul 10 million truckloads of potatoes out of the field to make that kind of money. And that's what we're doing here. This harvester can hold a million. So look at, we're not halfway through the first run down this field and it's already 10% full. So we're gonna have like literally a metric fuck ton of potatoes. And who hauls potatoes? But my friend here, the semi. This guy's kind of a, a he's the chaser of the, of the harvesters. So I told him to go. I said, go, lights. Flashies, you're on. Cue the hauler truck, the cat, the Papa Smurf mod. Another, so this is a Papa Smurf mod with a Papa Smurf mod. And I, did I tell you how they hell, work hell together? I mean, look, this is what it is. I can take those potatoes and do 100 miles an hour with them across the map. Changed the game. It's out here, though. Whoa. We're going to play with the railroad tracks. I don't cross the crossings. So he's out here somewhere. He's going to need unloading. Leave him open, and he's, you can dump a million liters of potatoes into this truck, and he holds a million, so isn't that convenient? This truck works really well with that harvester. Just awesome. So thanks, guys. Thanks. I know you'll never see this video, but, but I said it. So where... God, it's getting cold out here. Bird. Sun's going down. It's early, but uh, how long have we gone? We are 30 minutes. I'll go a little longer. We're going we're gonna to get this... Maybe Will I do the whole field? I don't know if I'll harvest it. We'll get it started. What's he doing? He's just digested into the elevator. We aren't doing that now. We aren't going to do the grass now. But the mower goes. We're not gold mining. See how you can do lots of different things in the game? We're not gold mining. We're not playing with the trains. Um, I'm not hauling with him. What was I doing? I was looking for him. So he's not full yet. Not full yet. So there's another harvester. In addition to the mowing... And the harvesting. Do I dare try to get another one going? Because up here in the corner, that's no, that's not harvestable. But we got two yellow ones here. Two big ones. What are they? Um, sunflower and I know that one. Soybean. Two different headers. I think I'm going to show you the soybean one. Okay, so while this one's running, we have a different harvester. This harvester. And that's the grain harvester. That would be for soybean, right? We're gonna drop it. Start the engine. I'm gonna pick up the corn header. Corn header, the actual, that's because the corn header works. This one would require attention from me. The corn harvester, I can just let it go and forget about it. So since I am streaming and harvesting two fields at the same time while I mill along, I'm gonna need some help. And the only thing that happens is the harvester gets away from you, and I'm willing to go chase down my harvester that's randomly wandering across the map because of all the help. That's what I want you to see is the craziness of these harvesters, right? So the potato harvester is ram rampaging, ravaging that field at 34 miles an hour. He'll be full before I can even get down there. This guy only goes 32 miles an hour. And again, fuck the tracks. I don't have time. Oh, the trains are sitting on the tracks. Uh, there he is. See, look at him. He's doing 34, I'm doing 32. I can't even catch him. The harvester is outrunning me. But we're running down the field now that uh, we purchased. Did I, and I purchased the, uh, the sunflowers. So we're going over here to, these are sunflowers. So I need to purchase that field which I just did. So that's where he's going. I'm excited we got the audio fixed. That's awesome. If I sound good now, yay. I'll sound like this for now forever. I didn't like that. My name is Paul. I'm here talking to you today.
across the grade. God, that's so awesome. That harvester's just scooching along. Like I say, it'll be full soon. Ah, the field we want is not here. It's way down there. That's okay. I'll give you a tour. This is the, the animal facilities. And you saw the cows, right? I'll go around here. You got, this is where the cows are. There's horses. There's pigs. There's chickens. Anything. That's the thing. Ah, oh, it's so cool. So I haven't done everything on the map. There's stuff I have not done out here. I'm just showing you stuff I've done. And I'm doing, and I've only been playing this like a week. Um, so there are other maps. This is the Yogi map, 4X Yogi map. Awesome map, right? Can't say enough good things about this map, but there are other maps. God, there's a dozen of them. I've already learned there's, I, I won't even say the names. I'll, I won't let them compete with Yogi. But there are other maps, right? And we want to go play those too, because they're awesome, right? So I don't know which one I'm going to play yet. Great Plains, I saw that one. I like wide open spaces. I've been on the Great Plains. Um, and then there's uh, some that are like Sandy Bay, I think. Was a I want beautiful maps. I appreciate beautiful, artistic, creative work. And I'm starting to dig this. If I, you really, I can go in and make these maps too. And I can play with these trains. I can lay them out. Like I'm like, what an awesome train simulator this would be if I can make my own little HO train get it set up. It's like, fuck yeah. All right, I think this is our field. Right on the corner of this. See how nice it is out here? I'll just go all the way around looking. Um, that's our crop. I'm going to zoom out here so you can see this. Watch this. Yellow. That's our corn header. Yes, baby. Did I say game-changing mods? This is available on Papa Smurf's website. I forget. Is it Papa Smurf's? I should have us some links and stuff. If anybody comments and wants to know, I'll come up with a link. But since nobody's watching, it's kind of pointless. But look at this. Check this shit out. And I told you I can just hit the button and say, go, knock yourself out. And he'll do this whole field himself, unattended. And, I, and I'm, I, how can I not be profitable? The kind of volumes, really like, were, like I say, change the game for me. And then you take these products downtown and start making stuff. My hand's getting cold. Holding the controller. Like, bird. If you haven't tell we're outside, it was a nice day out. Yeah, I can stream outside. So that's the thing about this channel is I built um, specific hardware just to do this. And it's pretty mobile. And I'm going through my phone. So I can pick this up and go anywhere, anytime, and do anything. Um, like all the cool kids are doing. And that was the idea. Is we're just streaming to be part of it. The, uh, I think this internet's going to be a big deal. Might be around for a while. And we'd rather be part of it than ignore it and pretend like it's not there. We'll say, hey, the internet is a great cloud of thought, and we'll join that great cloud of thought and try to be part of it. Because humans are still evolving, and there will be those that get it, and those that don't. And I think this is going to be part of our evolution. I think we're like still evolving. So I'm excited to interact with viewers, see what you guys are thinking about the great thoughts that are colliding out here in virtual space. This is awesome. I'm not even driving. I'm just a camera dude. So again, close-ups. I should show you the awesome harvester. That This one will hold 250,000. Again, changes the game for me. A typical harvester will only hold 30,000 liters. So that's why you can leave him out here in the field and he'll harvest the whole thing on his own. Freaking awesome. And look at the detail. Again, I'll zoom in here and just ride. Oh, while she's going, let's come out here and now stop the camera. Something like that. Like, watch. Whee! The details. Some nice mods, guys. So the harvester's one mod, the header's a different mod, and you can change the header's on the harvester. Oops, I do that all the time. Just to so you know, if I actually change cameras, I'm bumping my controllers. Like, oops. So, do So, he's not full. How's our other guy? Is he? He's probably stopped in the field out here. When they fill up, he'll just come to a stop. There's our mower. God, where is he? There he is. Oh, my God. He's almost full. Cue the truck. I don't think we're going we're gonna to try to do a hot load, but I don't think we'll be able to do it. Okay. Start the engine. Start the truck. Turn on the lights. We got flashy lights. Where's the harvester? Pick a direction. Which way did he go? Is he down there? I think he's down here. He's 90%. He's, 
He may fill by the time we can even find him. But I'll try to do a hot load. Let's see, we are 40 minutes in. There'll be other opportunities. He was 90% full. That'd be a good one. All right, I'm doing 100 miles an hour through this field, working with this hot. That's what's awesome about this mod. Thank you again, Papa Smurf. Dude, he's down there. I see him. Target insight. He's doing a turnaround, so he's coming back, so he didn't fill up anything while he was doing that. I'm coming around behind. Oh, my uh, cruise control isn't set. Oh, and if I skidded into that crop, it'd be crop damage. All right. I missed him there. I've got to turn down. I have to set my cruise control to 14. I'm doing it right now. And he'll uh, stop before I get to him. But we can do it again. Come on, go, 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 go. Giddy up. Yeah. Come on, we can catch him. All right. So the idea is when I catch up to him, yeah, he stopped. So this will be a steady um, one where he's not moving, but we can do this while he's actually harvesting. That's how you, I mean, before it was important to keep these harvesters moving at all times to make your money. Now, not so much. Now here, this guy, I don't, if I pull into the crop there, I'll destroy that crop. And I don't see any need for that. So I line up under him and I'll take control. Give me, give me the harvester. I got it now. And now I'm backing him up. Because th he doesn't need to leave that all, that all behind. These bots are so stupid. If I haven't told you, they just, they cannot do a field without leaving something undone. So we are now dumping a million liters of potatoes into our truck. This will be fun. What am, what am I going to do with potatoes? I don't know what I'm going to do with potatoes. Gosh, uh, I could make pesticides. God, uh, we need a French fry maker on the map. Um, so I'll put them in an elevator for now because I don't know what to do with them. And the closest elevator is right there in front of me. See over by the barns. So I think we'll just put the potatoes in there for now. Because then I can put them in the... I just... Uh, you know how I've got to plan sugar. I'm going to make cakes with flour, wheats. I can make cakes and bread. But potatoes, I don't know. They, all I saw was pesticides. Now I don't want to make pesticides because I don't do weeds. Hire a worker. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next unload. So see how much of the field is gone? That's how much it takes to fill up this harvester. Let me go top down. Show me the map. We're looking at field two right there. I'm zooming in on him. That's how much he's done. So that's filled one truck. So it's going to fill him up like 10 times on that field. 10 million potatoes is going to come off of this field. It's like, wow. Just wow. All right, so get to my truck. And we're going to put these in the uh, elevator because I got 10 million potatoes coming. After this, it will not stop. And he's that's pretty close, so I think that's a good strategy is to just go ahead and let's unload this truck and be ready to just keep doing it. Nice, this elevator's like right next to this field. So I've just started to get comfortable enough with the map to start using the elevators and see where they're at. So this guy... I just drive over tracks, have some neat things like that happen. Pull up here, and it should cue me to unload, but if it doesn't, here it is. I'm unloading potatoes into this elevator. We can come back and get them later. A million potato unload takes a while, but it is really fast for a million potatoes. And I think unloads have to be sat here and attended. I can test it. Let's go and it's halfway unloaded. We'll see if it's unloaded when I get back. This guy can come out of here. He's going to haul the digestate over here to be transported later. Because I expect lots of a digestate in the future. i got to figure out something to do with it. I could throw it on the fields as fertilizer. Every field gets fertilized. We want to maximize those yields. Want to pick up some grass? I can do that. We'll just check on everything else. Uh, gold, we're not doing. We'll get rid of the trains now. How about that? I can come back to this and say, show me trains no more. There. So we don't see that. So now we just skip between those. He's not hauling anything. He's not full yet. I promise myself to slow down, to don't flip through these vehicles so fast for you when I'm on the air. So I just explain to you that this is the harvester doing potatoes. This is the plow. Oh, we always... Do we plow potatoes? 
Um, so I can start thinking ahead as we look at the map. That field is going to need to be plowed. Yeah. All right. He's going to that field. Start your engine. You guys want to hang around long enough to plow? I guess I could start plowing now because the plow could not keep up with the harvester. Could he? No, there's no way. I'm thinking the harvester's so wide, he might be able to catch. But the harvester's doing 34 miles an hour with, what is it, a 12 meter? And this might be a 24 meter, but he can do 19 miles an hour. So they're gonna be really close. I should probably just start plowing because it's, uh, the field's so big. And I just want to do these for the stream. I want you to see the plower in action. And if this is a crawler, right? I, I was excited to show you guys a crawler. Um, what would be different? Would you like, why would he be excited about crawlers? They steer differently than a, a tractor does. They uh, are more like a tank. They can turn on a dime. I'll just, you can pivot one. I'm like, literally, you know, whee, like crazy, right? Um, I'm trying to pull forward, straighten him out. Unfold this plow. It is being pulled by the Challenger, which is the, I, my understanding is it's the American branding in the Fent, European brand. And that's the 800, and I've beefed it up to a 650 horsepower plow machine. Can you say fuck yeah? I can, fuck yeah. I won't overdo it. Whoa, 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 come on. How hard does it be to get your plow in the field? Come on. God, I screwed it up that bad, huh? Uh, okay, hired a worker. He'll fix it. Did he? Yeah, that looks good. That's a good start. All right, dudes, dudettes. This is why this game is so fucking awesome. Look at that. Challenger. Oh, do you know you can ride inside? Yeah, the new bros, you may not know this. You get a ride. Yep. Nice view, huh? What are we doing this at 19 miles an hour? For 24 meters or so? That's, yeah, that's a mod. Stock plowing sucks. Like, the first time I plowed a field, it was like one row at a time. It takes all day. That's why this is just like, oh, hell yeah. Thank you, modders, again. Changes the game and makes it a whole lot more fun. A whole lot more fun, let's do this. And I, that's the thing. I love the game for the details. Like, the ride across a plowed field in this crawler is smooth. That's the thing about crawlers. If you were out here in a wheeled vehicle on a plowed field, it's rough as hell. Um, and a crawlers with those wide tracks just glide over fields. I never got it before, but it's just awesome. So where's our lighting? Looks like we're getting the lighting from the right direction. Uh, slow down and take a minute to appreciate for you guys. You know, that that's the modeling in this game and it's just awesome, the detail. I mean, you can get down here in the plows and look at the dirt, I'm trying to get a view of the dirt. There, and top down. That. Just, you know, wow. Now we're doing is plowing a field. Wake up. What else is going on? After we plow, what will he need? He'll need uh, lime, possibly, but it looks like there's no lime there, so he, then he just needs to be fertilized. And the fertilizing comes from the big fertilizing machine. So let's go check everybody. Mower's mowing. Still. How much mowing do you think he's done? Let's check his field. He's down here. Yeah, there, you can see the color change in the blues. He's like half, barely halfway done. And he's been mowing, what, most of the morning? Right, laying down 10 meter. No, that's 10 feet at a time. I don't know, maybe six feet. He's half full, he's fine. But I told you he'd be out here doing sunflowers autonomously, fine on his own. Just making me a fuck ton of money. He needs to go unload the potato man. I haven't checked in on him, but I have a feeling he's getting urgent. So I'm just gonna, if I'm not too late already, I'm gonna go find him and unload him. 
Cruise controls set for 14. First thing always is where is he? That way? Or that way? There he is. I think I can see the dent in the thing. He's right there. We're going to try to catch him at 100 miles an hour. He's going to reach the end before I can get there. That's okay. I'll do it the other way. I'll let him turn around and let you see a hot unload. I could stop him there and unload him. But I, you want to see the hot unload, right? I can do it. I can do this. We got the flashy lights on. They'll help. They're all very important. Okay, get your potato machine in place. I'm coming in behind him. Right under that. I haven't... Oh, shit. Don't hit the thing. That's crop damage. I haven't done a hot unload on this guy before. He's 34 miles an hour. Yeah, I have, I'm fucked this up again. I've never done this before. I may have to stop him, but we'll try. No better time to try than right now. Go, 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 go. 34 miles an hour. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. He's a 700 horsepower tractor. Come on. Get up. Go, go, go. Get in there. Get in there. Only the front hopper. Only in the front. Don't overshoot it. Get it in there and cruise control. Come on. Oh, whoa. Fuck no. Oh, he must have filled up. There you go. Oh, well. Life. What are you doing? What are you doing? You stop. You stop. Did I hit him? What happened? There's... Oh, dude. Oh, what is happening? I'm out of control. Something's going wrong. Oh, my God. Let's just get under here. Cruise control. Are we doing this? What's wrong? Go. Oh, it's blown in the wind, so you can't see it. Okay. See the potatoes? They're, like, flying off, but they're going in. I'm unloading him. It's happening. We've got this much time left. I left a mess back there. And that's only half a million. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We can do this. See, fuck yeah. Yeehaw. That's insane. Just insane. Absolutely crazy. So you just take your imagination and just so this stretch it, right? So it's like farming with real equipment. But what about farming with stuff that doesn't even exist? I think we're done. I'm going to stop. Let him go. Get out of his way. I'm almost full. We'll go see what he's doing. I, can, I looked at the flow rates and it, it looked like it wasn't doing... You know, hundreds of thousands. There's the plowing going on right there. Um, he was just doing the hundreds. Yeah, he's empty. So he's going to carry on. We'll go back to the truck. And he's not full yet. I need another 100,000. How long do you think it'll take him to get 100,000? 10%? Eh, eh. The thing's right there. I'll let him go and come back, and I'll get him next time. But look, that plow's already here. I'd better move. I can go get my 100,000 now, can I? I think I can. Then I can dump it, and then I'll be good for another million. Yeah, this field's going to generate millions, millions of liters of potatoes. Think of the french fries. We need a french fry machine. And I got sugar. I got millions of sugar. Papa, is it Papa, or is it Old Man 102 uh, does... A monster factory, monster soft drink sugar factory, and that's what I think I'd like to do all, all my sugar. I need to get in here. In here. Cruise control. Give me a hundred thousand, please. Please, top me, top me off. Nine hundred one million. Bye bye. We're out of here. To the elevator. Over the railroad tracks. Did we find out if we can uh, leave this unloading? I'm going to try again because... Oop, see, I turned the wrong way and you hit the wall. Forward? That way. Um, unload, please. And... I'll come back to him. That's like 900,000 because I want to just check everybody. Not doing him. Mower guy's still going to be mowing. He's got plenty. He's got plenty. Uh, plow guy's plowing. And this guy. 
He's almost full. He's going to need an unload. Maybe I'll get him next and then go get more potatoes. But he's only 200,000. So I think this guy can do um, sunflowers. And he's 500,000 liters. So I can unload that guy twice. So he's on his way to that field. He's a little guy. He's 240. He doesn't have a whole lot of balls. Um, he's for oddball stuff like this. You know, I got two things going and I need a, another tipper. The field is out here past all of this stuff. I think I can intercept him here in the middle. That's the grass field right there. There should be a mower here somewhere behind us. That's the one thing I haven't figured out yet is traveling across the map with standard equipment like this at 30 miles an hour. I like the 100 mile an hour trucks. Um, you get there much faster. And that seems better to me. So how do you do? I'm thinking of getting a low boy. Like I'll just put a truck like this onto it and then I can scream across the map and unload it. But then I would have like in the time I grabbed it and I just drove over here and got it over here because I need it. I would be still loading it like right now and drive it over here and unloading it. So still struggling with that one, man. I'd like to just grab onto it with a 100 mile an hour truck and drag it over here at 100 miles an hour. So there's our field right in front of us there. Looks like we're about an hour into this. I'm gonna let it keep going because I think this is a like the most successful stream I've done technically. The, I think the audio sounding good. And we're doing the video at 480, so we'll see what that looks like. Here's our field right here, I think. If I cross the railroad track, here's where he's uh, unloading. And I think I'll have to be over here to hot unload him. You think about uh, you can't drive your tractor on the side of the harvester where the crop is because you'll uh, run over your crop as you're unloading it. So this guy, if I can set my cruise control to 14, I did. And I can come in and do a hot unload off the side of him. And then this tipper can just sit out here. And it looks like we'll get that whole field in. And the idea is with one load, I don't want to make uh, multiple trips. I think he's talking about this guy right here. He's almost full. So I'm coming in. And if I remember, you got to be way out here. Whoa, into the header cruise control. Oh, further up, further up. Is it 16? Cruise control, boom, boom, 16 miles per hour. All right, what am I getting? Sunflower? Maybe even a little faster. That's 16. It's not, believe it, there's like two 16s, really? Maybe a 17? Kind of 16, there we go. Oh, don't lose it. Oh, okay, am I done? Did I get it all? Like 200,000? It looks like I did. I can tell by the flow rates. So it's down in the hundreds. So we'll bop off here. He's done. And go check the other guys. He doesn't even need unloading yet. He's only at 40. That's pretty awesome. Plow guy's doing his plow thing. We'll get fertilizer out of here next. Uh, somebody was left. So there's the mow guy still mowing. I told you all day long. Uh, he's empty. That's proof that I got him all. Um, there he is. Oh, dude, he, he's empty. Cool. I don't have to sit there and watch him unload. Yay. Huge yay. Thank you. Whoever did that, I don't have to fucking sit there and unload millions of liters of potatoes. And that harvester wasn't even full. It was like 40%. So I just bring him out here and get him close to the crop. Like here, the guy will be going back and forth in front of us here. And we need the fertilizer out here now. You guys know the, him. I told you, he does everything. Start your engine. Need lights. One, two, three. Flashy lights, please. This guy easily rolls over the tracks with his uh, tires. And God, I, I'm like, start to head off. It'd like be a long way to get to the field, but it's right here. 
So we're gonna pull up right here. So there's the plow. Plowing. And here's the fertilizer. And he's gonna be for that plow is going like 19 miles an hour. I think. This guy can do 15, so he's slower than the plow, but he's wider. I just told him to open up his arms. So I think I gotta let that plow get ahead of him a little bit more. But I can show you. Since I think I'm only gonna do this stream for like another half hour or so. I'll let the plow go uh, one or two, get a little further. See, I gotta let him get ahead. This guy will go one stroke and catch up with all of that. So there's my fertilizer. I like it very much. Who else is doing gold mining? We're not doing. He's sitting here. That's the tipper in the field for the sunflowers. That's the potato harvester. He's almost full. We're going to unload him going the next way now. Plow guy's doing his plow guy thing. He's right in there. He's right behind the harvester. He's not doing anything yet. He's, he's a cake hauler. That is a worn out mower. Look at him. That's a 900. We'll show you some of the details. See the dirt? You guys didn't know it gets dirty. God, and look at look at all the details, dudes. Nice guys. Springs. Every nut and bolt. By golly, guys. The grass. The hay. The mowers. Like, look at it. So this is a double fertilized. Uh, oh, you can't see it on the others. It just pours off those mowers like cream. There's a lot of grass there. We'll pick it up soon. I just got a lot going on right now. Let's do this guy. He's only partially full. He's, so that's going well, right? There's our tipper. It's another one. This guy, we're doing a hot unload. Now, action. Cue the truck. There's the guy. I hit go. He's got a 34 mile an hour cruise control speed. We're going to get up to speed. Don't hit the plow truck. Look at all these bots. So that's what's fun is you're out here with your ah, with your own bots. Don't oh, this guy I told you he handles a little funny, right? Those front tires are a little loose. Get up in there. Get in there. Get into the header. Cruise. All right, we're cruising. I like that the potatoes just blown in the wind. Blown in the. Can I get close? Like. See him blowing at me. Focus. Don't get distracted. Silk. Short attention span. Okay, see how hundreds of thousands are clicking away. There's 400,000, 500,000. We want to get one. There's only hundreds of thousands or hundreds are clicking. So there's still 500,000. We're still unloading. 600,000. 700,000. All right, I'm gonna abort. I'm pulling off. We're pulling off. That was most of it. I almost got it all. Come back down here. So I just need to top off 200,000 there and we can go to the silo again. Keep them potatoes going. Getting over here because the plow guy is real close. Bill, is that Bill is our plow guy? He's uh, just rocking along there. So fertilizer guy can go now. If you guys haven't seen him, you saw a digestate truck. We'll use that guy. That's a fun one too. He's gonna pick up all that grass, but I'm busy. Cow water. All right, hire another worker. Start the engine. He's put up to the line. And take care of all that for me. Look at that. Again, details. I'll try to zoom in on all this stuff. Yeah, I've, I've seen all this, but if you guys want to see lots of, there's a guy, an operator in there, that's short haircut girl. Get out here and you can see the sprayers. And again, the details guys, just wow, good job. And if you look at the map, make sure what you want to happen is really happening. We're plowing. We're fertilizing, and we don't need any lime on this field. If I had to get lime trucks out here, it takes forever. I can't put lime down like this. So I'm looking for mods. That's what you guys can tell me is what mod do I need for lime? Because this will wrap it up. After the fertilizer, we can sell this field back to the game, and the game grows the crops for me. I just see what... That's kind of what I, I let the game surprise me. 
and see what crops are going to come up next in what fields. So gold mining, sunflower. There's some sunflowers here somewhere. He's kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to get him a little closer. I guess I could do another hell. No. He doesn't hold that much. Or he doesn't. He's not going to fill me up. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't really matter. He's got plenty of room. I just wanted to get him over here closer to the crop. So he'll go by right here. This guy. Pretty empty. Looks like I got him unloaded on the other side. And he does have 200,000. So I'll come in here and steal this and top off and go to the elevator. I'm, that's a mission. Good to go. There's plow guy and fertilizer guy going. Again, yeah, look at how these mods. That's a mod. I don't know if that fertilizer is a mod. I know it came with the Yogi map. I think that's where I got it. But just this changes the game. Changes how I play. Did I tell you I'm trying to do high definition, 60 frames a second, so I can do stuff like this. And just don't see any frame jitter. And look at these particle effects and stuff. Yeah, just all this. Yeah, you probably don't see it in 480. We'll see. That'll be a good test. Just to see. I know it's when the, you have motion is when you need more bandwidth to deal with the motion. When you do a static image, it's, there's not that much to compress. So forgive me, I think the motion is what makes it good. I'll try to do steady shots like that. Give you a chance for it to lock up. All right, not him. Mower's going. He's uh, not even close to being full. Okay, he needs the 200,000. So that's what I was gonna do is top him off. Here he comes. Let's get some speed up on this thing. Come in here. I'll get you. And cruise control. Oh, oh, did I get it? I think I did. Whee! Insanity. Got to use your imagination. God damn, I'm already here. And I'm topped off. We're out of here. Bye bye. Covered up for style points. Across the plowed field. Across the fertilizer. Yeah, you can tell the field's been fertilized by the color changes on the textures of the soil. That's important to know if you haven't played the game. 100 miles an hour to the elevator. Whoa, didn't expect that. Train coming. Where's my unload, please? Unload. Unloading. I don't have to sit here and watch it. That's where we'll go, and I'm not doing digest eight yet. I want to show you him. Yeah, because he's unloading. Uh, fired up. Start the forger wagon. Lower the forger wagon head. Uh, don't need that. Um, that'd be cool, though. It's nice to know it has that. I'll put it in that position, though. And you can also raise and lower the, the pickup. So I like it just touching in there. That seems to float. I like that to have a little float across the field like that. All right. I don't like the way I've set up for this corner, so I'm going to do a circle. Cruise control set for 45 miles an hour. I don't think it'll do 45. It tops off about 40. Oh, and I have not wind road this so uh, there's gonna be an overlap like about like that I'm zooming out that's good all right I'm saying full speed ahead cruise control 45 and eh, since I haven't done much of this I'll do I'm doing quite a bit in overlap all right here's a doggy here on the set just so you know so I pitted the doggy all right that's good I'm running down all right so you can see I'm picking up the grass it accumulates fairly quickly. I just wanted to do a little demo here so you can see how. And then I take this, which holds 9 million liters, 
to the silage elevator and turn it from grass into silage. Then I haul the silage to the uh, biogas plant and sell it. So this grass is only worth like $100, a thousand liters as grass. And that's the secret about uh, silage is it becomes $600 a liter, six times its value just by running it through a fermenter. Um, so that's a, how I make money. That's what I, that's the trick I learned. That looks about like right. So cruise control. So again, I consider this a game changing mob that I can cruise through a field, picking up grass at 40 miles an hour. And what's the spread across that? 16 meters or so, 12 meters. Just that's, that's a good sum of grass. So I, we're, I can clear this field much faster than the mower motor. So it mows all night long and I'll have this field picked up in a half an hour with this piece of equipment. And I love it. So yeah, so I, I will probably use this piece of equipment on every map I'm on from here to the future. So thanks guys, awesome modding. Changes the game and makes it, what did I say, much more fun. We're in the hella fun zone. We still see two watching. I think I'm recording. It's getting a little cold here and, and the sun is going down and I'm outside and we have been in here for like over an hour. So I'm gonna stop here. Stop. I can pick up those. So you saw that. That will just proceed and continue for the rest of that. That's the, that's the water for the cows. We're fertilizing the field with a bot. And look how rough it is in here for him on a plowed so this is a wheeled vehicle on a plowed field this is normal all the wheeled vehicles out here just get beat to shit and it's the crawlers that are just an awesome ride out here all right gold mining holding the field for sunflowers half full of potatoes Plowing's coming along just lovely. Doing nothing, that's the cake delivery, but I've got a new cake trailer, so I'm just waiting. I'm not gonna give up that Fent 1000. Five, that's a 550 horsepower. I'll find something, that's a toy I like to play with. I just don't know, he's on the wrong hauler right now. Mower's still mowing. God, I told you, all day, it's, it's noon already. Um. We're almost done with this field. And again, I don't mean to say I told you so, but I turned this harvester, so that's the iconic mod, with the iconic corn header loose in the field, and it is just autonomous. It took care of it all for me. I didn't have to worry about it at all. He's empty. Get the hell out of there. What is that, two million? I'm getting cold, I'm starting to shiver. Brr, brr. I think I'm about done here. Anything else? Well, nobody's here. So I'm trying to think of anything else I should show you. I, that's what I wanted to show you is the Yogi map. You saw in the last test that I just started it like this week and I'm already 28 million and plowed and grown every field on the map. And I think it's awesome. So that's my review of Yogi map. It's just awesome. Um, I'm gonna go through and see anything else we wanna talk about. Digest date. Those are both mods, I think. Neither of those are stock equipment. Trains are running in the background on their own, autonomously. You saw me pick up field. Hey, is that the mower? No, he's just turning. I was going to say, did he stop down there? No, he's just turning. Um, the cows are well taken care of, right? Did I ever tell you to check the cows right here? We've got milk. They've got food. They've got water. They've got straw. Because it's just sitting here. Lots of it. Right? I've got cow food out the butt. So we're going to have like 200 cows here. and I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They're multiplying. And I have one color. They're all the same. Just to help me with the reproduction. I noticed last time I did cows and you, I had brown and you mix them and they were reproducing all at different rates. And I'm like, what's going on? So this way, they're all the same. I'm popping out about a new cow every hour or so. Or we'll get there. All right. Oh, oh, he's in the way. Get the truck out of the way. Get the truck out of the way. Where is he? There. Go, go, go. Start engine. Go, go, go. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, it'll go right through. They don't collide. I'll just, I'll let you see. If the header had hit him, 
they have like you could define the programmers will they collide oh it does i'm wrong i'm so wrong i'm so that must not be a mod maybe that's a stock one but it didn't hurt anything wow see how you learn and you learn and you learn what's this is this normal that's plowing so he plowed through me did i fuck up oh i wasn't even out there when he plowed i just must have stopped in a bad place open it up I'm not gonna unload him yet because I didn't think he had that much. All right, so that's just one last round for the stream. I'm going uh, minute 15. So yeah, this is like the last 15 minute wrap up to make it an hour and a half long. That's the digestate. That's the grass field with his mower. We talked about cows. And that guy getting beat up is the fertilizing. There's the gold mining, right? We did that. So then you take that gold and put it over with the diesel and you get your gold. And I told you a bucket of this full of gold is like $2 million. So it's totally worth doing. This is the, f we're going to empty this field with sunflower and I'll take it somewhere like to the bakery, I think, to make bread with sunflower. And he's full. Well, I'll let him fill. This is a good way to, a good place to stop the stream. I'm going to let it wind down. That he's done so if he's full i'm gonna stop this bot and i'm gonna stop the fertilizer bot because they'll run into each other now because <coughs> i'm gonna start wrapping things up yeah see he stopped he stopped uh mower i can let running no he'll he'll, he'll do no harm He's done. Check that shit out. He is done. So if I start the engine and I turn around, the tipper was just over here. God, that field's done. And if you didn't know, there's a pipe out command. A pipe out. Heading for the tipper. Gonna unload this guy. And so, yeah, that whole field fit into one tipper because that's a 500,000 liter tipper. Everybody should have one, right? Something like that, run it right over the top of the cab. And it started to like fill the bucket with sunflower. Cool. Is it getting dark? Can you still see me? It looks like you can still see me. So this webcam works in the dark, huh? I have no uh, artificial light just so you know, yet. Okay, what next? We're not going to unload him. We're done. So that's it for the game. So I'm going to set my controller down. Ugh. How about we save the game? Come over here. You know, come over here. I'm hitting X, save the game. Not quite quitting yet. Uh, I want to go check the streaming software. OBS. Looks like it's all still good. I'm cold. Burr. I'm checking my YouTube studio stuff and see what it says. Um, check the video resolution. It's not optimal. Yeah, I know it's not optimal. It's a good connection. God, I'm getting lots of red stuff. Looks like Verizon's fucking with me. I'm going to pick up my phone and hold up my antenna and see if that helps a little bit. Say, nope. Why is it all yellow? and red all the time. So YouTube's really unhappy with me. Wonder why. Is this the 480 thing? We'll see, that's unusual. I, see, I can't see OBS Studio when I'm playing the game, and if I hope it hasn't been red the whole time here. It's almost like I gotta get multiple monitors, huh? Well, we'll see. Um, I think that's it. Should have muted the, looks like the webcam has a mic in addition, so you might have gotten some echo. I just closed it, and that can be the test that if you heard me mute the webcam mic, <coughs> it's muted now. It looks like I'm getting some decent levels off this microphone now. I wasn't doing that before. All right. Anything else? Yeah, it's still, it's just, I'm getting lots of air, so I should go ahead and stop it, I think. I don't know what the problem is. But we'll stream more and try to figure it out.
I don't know when. I'm now. So I was going to just try to stream on weekends and stuff, but I think we need to do more testing. So that's I'm going to be doing more streaming during the week to just figure this stuff out. And that's all it's about is I'm leaving up uh, the streams on the channel just if people want to watch them and comment as I figure it out. And then we'll move on to other games. Like I said, this isn't going to be a farm sim channel. The farm sim is just beautiful graphics to test my encoding with as we get it all set up. All right, I can't think of anything else. Uh, let's see, if I transition like this, you should still hear my voice. It's going up and down, and I can preset black, and I can do a fade to black. You still have the mic, and I can fade the mic. So, if you made it to the end, post a note in the comments and said I watched to the end. If not, thanks for uh, just checking it out. And we'll see you in more content. Have yourself a good day. Bye-bye.